What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So this uh, series pretty much went the way that I thought it would go. Um, I felt like we weren't going to really be competitive. I gave us at best one game, and that's exactly what happened. And um, this game was, for the most part, a blowout. wasn't really particularly close. The final score of one sixteen to one hundred was not really indicative of of even how close this game was. At one point, I think the Bucks were up by 29. Um, they The Bucks are just a better team than Chicago, period. There's, a, there's, a, a, there's levels to, you know, as far as, uh, you know, what team, can, the, the competing teams, the championship uh, level teams, and then teams are just good enough to go to playoffs. And we're just a team right now good enough to go to playoffs. And, you know, I'm I'm very frustrated at our the, our stars. Zach Levine really didn't show up at all in this series. Demar the Ro excuse me, Demar the Frozen. You've earned that moniker again. This is why people some people didn't give a fuck about what you were doing in the regular season. <sighs> you know, that's why I was saying like some people are built for the regular season, and some people are built for the playoffs. That's true what Draymond Green said. There's some people who c can fool you and put up great numbers during the regular season, and then when it comes playoff time, you know, where it's a different animal, a different beast, a different type of pressure on you, you, you they're not the same player. You know, I'm sick of our coach, Billy Donovan. I'm sick of him not being called out as a mediocre piece of shit who always gets out coached. Even by Mike Budenholzer, he gets outcoached. Um, <clears throat> but um, it is what it is, man. The Bucks were just a better team. They move on. So they'll play the winner of, well, actually, that series is already determined. I forgot. <laughs> Damn. How the fuck I forget that that quick? Wow. Well, they're going to play the, the Boston Celtics. And... <clears throat> you know, me personally, I think it's going to be a really good series. I do think some people are underestimating Boston. I think Boston has a superior coach. And, you know, as much as I malign him, as much as I, you know, am critical of Chris Middleton, they don't have Chris Middleton, the Bucks. So that should even things out a little bit. But Chris Middleton probably will return sometime during this next series. Um, one great thing that the Bucks have going for them is Grayson Allen has shown that he can sort of semi-feel that role that Chris Middleton provides. He's actually a better three-point shooter, in my opinion, than Chris Middleton. Even though I still don't like the motherfucker what he did for what he did to Oscar Russo. But still, um <clears throat> Grayson Allen has shown that he can uh sort of fill that role a little bit, at least for periods of time. And most importantly, the Bucks have a healthy Brooke Lopez. I think Brooke Lopez is gonna be big in this series. Um I think he's going to be really big in this series. But anyway, <clears throat> Chicago Bulls have an entire summer to think about it. And um, I think personally, there need to be some changes made to this team. Um, I really do. Now, look, I get that they didn't have Lonzo Ball, and I get all that, but Lonzo Ball was not going to be a game changer to that degree. You know, I think that there just needs to be some changes. I think we need a new coach. <clears throat> Me personally, I think the Bulls should consider trading Zach Levine. Yeah, I think we need to, I think we need a, a new, totally new identity as a team, man. I think we need a totally new identity. Um, that's just me. Tell me what you guys think.